right, just want to show you guys how I'm getting around. Today is exactly one week after my full knee replacement. So I'm fortunate enough to have a bigger bathroom so I can get in here with my walker. I like this walker. I want to show you a little bit about the walker because it has these handles down here and these handles are a big help. Because if I need to go to the washroom, a lot of room to turn around. They say sometimes get a raised toilet seat or to get uh, um, the bars on the toilet to help you, but I can put one hand down here and the other one up there and slide my leg forward and still get down to this level to go to the bathroom. And then when I need to get up, I just hold on to these bottom ones. I can move it wherever I need to be if I need to maneuver to do anything on here, but I can get myself up with these ones and then back to here. Also, this walker, because of the way it's made, can turn. So if you needed to have your toilet like that, without the bag, mind you, I keep the bag to keep myself on it or whatever. Oops. Oh my God, wouldn't you shit yourself if I broke my toilet? <laughs> trying to show you this. Okay, so this is like the handlebars, the handles that they would put on a, on a toilet. So if I needed to go to the bathroom this way, and slide my leg forward, I could do the same thing. And I could rest and I can still pick myself up from here and then just turn the walker around like I just did. Anyway, there we go. So I'm walking now with the walker. Today I walk with the cane with the physiotherapist and um, I'm doing it. There's still a lot of swelling. If you hear somebody else talking, my sister's here visiting from St. Catharines and uh, she's talking with my son. I got tons of swelling still. I'm wearing the stockings. It's just really swollen and tight, so when I try to bend it, it doesn't bend very well. I keep buying my shower. I'm buying my relaxing soaking tub that I can't use. <laughs> Even at the six or two weeks marks book and I have a shower, I can't get into my tub because I can't get out of it. I was having trouble getting out of my tub. And I'll spend three, four, five hours in my tub because I have a TV in my bathroom here too that I'll just, I'll stay. I'll stay till my iPad dies. I'll stay till my book is done and I will stay to, um, and I will stay until uh, you know, my phone dies sometimes or the water, you know, it's an insulated tub so it doesn't get cold very quickly so I can sit in there for hours. And I have, but uh, I'm missing that right now. So that's it guys. So if you're gonna get a walker, use it in the bathroom. Uh, this one's kind of nice um, because of these handles. These handles have saved me a few times. When I'm going down the step in the front, at the front door, I put it down. It's one step down. I hold on to these ones and I can step down. I don't have to go to the cane to step down and then back to the walker. Anyway, it's just something for you to think about if you're uh, looking to get any kind of a walker before your total knee replacement. I'll be running before you know it. Week two. Actually, it's only one week today. Bye. So today it's uh, day 11 post-op, and um, I'm feeling pretty good. I've uh, been able to get around the house a little bit better. I just finished my second set of exercise, and I'm icing, uh, I'm icing my knee right now. It's pretty tender. Just from uh, the slide board or just from uh, trying to do the leg lifts, uh, I can do the leg lifts better in the lazy boy. I can probably get my leg up probably three inches. It's not a lot, guys, but it's something. I couldn't do that a couple of days ago. I can't do it off the bed. I'm having such a hard time doing it off the bed, but if I'm doing it on the lazy boy, it seems to work a little bit better. I don't know if I'm working the same muscle or if it's a different muscle because I'm not doing it from an upright. I recline the chair back quite a bit, and I can get it done, but for some reason on the bed, I can't do it. Um, it's been a good couple of days. It's uh, it's coming along. I have a little bit more stamina now. I can do things around the house. I can load a dishwasher, unload a dishwasher. Actually, somebody came to the door today and I went to the window without even thinking, got out of the chair and went to the window, tap on the window to let them know I couldn't come down the stairs uh, to open the door. 
So uh, it was just a package that my son had ordered and needed to be signed for. So I had to start calling for my daughter to come in, um, come to the door. Um, but I got up and I just started walking to the window without, <laughs> without, without even grabbing the walker, without even thinking, I just have to get to the window to see who's at the door and uh, tell them I can't open the door. Um, um, walking with the cane, uh, not supposed to really do it while I'm home alone. Although today I did that and I made a little quick, quick video just to have a little bit of fun with it. And I'll post that with this video for my two week update. Um, I'll probably do that on Thursday, maybe Friday. We'll see. Um, I have one, I have uh, one more set of exercises to do today, but I'm going to save that for therapy. Um, not getting any sleep still, probably two hours at a time. If that it's, uh, it's just hard not to be able to sleep. It's, it's not, I can kind of get myself into a side position, but, but it's awful. It's awful to tr try to move. Everything is so tight and yeah, there is no sleep. Don't, don't expect to sleep, you know, for a while after you have this done. So I did have a cat nap yesterday, sitting here, laying here in the, in the chair, but, um, yeah, I mean, that's okay. But even sitting in this chair, I mean, I'm watching mindless hours of Hallmark Channel or whatever, you know, you got, y'all know I'm a Toronto fan and we watched a little bit of hockey last night. That was nice. But other than that, I'm watching like mindless television and sometimes I can't even concentrate on what's on um, because I got to keep moving my leg. So, uh, so far, appetite still is not there. Um, the, the bowel regime is... I want to say back to normal, like I heard some horror stories, you know, where people were like, you know, a week or a week plus, um, not having any, um, regular bowel regime. But with me, I'm not the, your average person anyway. So, you know, the fact that somebody is going to complain after not having a bowel movement after one day or two days or even three days, that, that wouldn't fizz me. So, but, um, that seems to be back on track. I'm not taking the medication around the clock. I do I do still need it to help me sleep, but like I said, two hours is the best I'm gonna get. And um, uh, I'm hoping to be kind of off of that. I've kind of switched to Tylenol Extra Strength um, for any kind of uh, pain relief, uh, unless it's really bad. But I'll take that just a little bit before I start the exercises, and that usually will kind of get me through like daytime stuff. Um, unless it's like I said, really bad or tight or the swelling is so bad that when I'm doing the exercise, I really have to pull on my leg to do that slide board. But other than that, uh, day 11, I, I think I'm doing okay. We'll see what the physiotherapist says. The last time I was at therapy, my, I was at minus five for my extension and my flex was only 75. Well, it was 70 when I went in there initially. So uh, I don't see the doctor again, the surgeon until next week, next Tuesday. So we have a week tomorrow. So I have that much time to get to that 90 degrees. So I'm really hoping to get there before that. I don't know if they just don't take the staples out if you're not at 90 degrees or what, but, um, that's my goal anyway, try to get to the 90 degrees. I really push it on this kitchen chair that I slide my leg back and forth, um, in the living room here on a towel and I pull it, put one leg over the other leg and I pull it back and that's what I've been doing with the slide board too but it's just so tight I mean it's slow growing it's a slow process but you know every day I'm finding it's getting a little bit better so hang in there and um yeah if I do anything else remarkable this week I'll make a video if not you might just get this one but um yeah so day 11 not not too bad guys so you can do it So it's week two today, exactly. It's Friday, um, 29th of uh, March, and um, exactly two weeks ago today I had my uh, total knee replacement. Hopefully you can hear me over the ice machine ticking away there. Um, I, can, uh, I can definitely see a difference. I can lift my leg up off the bed 10 inches or so and then drop it down again. I can do that 20 rep, 20, or sorry, 20 times to two sets of 10 and um, I couldn't do that a few days ago I couldn't do that so it's getting better the the leg lifts the lifts with the um, with the can underneath my knee the um, 
slide board isn't coming. I'm at 80 degrees. I should be at 90 by the time I see the doctor. Now, normally people will go see the doctor, the surgeon, two weeks after their surgery. Um, my appointment's coming up on this Tuesday. So I uh, really pushed it this week after my first therapy of the week because I was worried I wasn't going to be at the 90 and I didn't know if the doctor was just going to reef my knee back to, to 90 degrees. So I've been working working it hard, but it's not coming. It's uh, at, at 80. So I've gone from 70 to 80 in two weeks. So that's I'm not going to have enough time to get it to 90. Um, my extension is at zero. I'm getting around the house with the walker still. Uh, hopefully when um, I can do those leg, the, the leg lifts um, just from the bed. They said that um, if I can do 30 of those, that I could probably start walking with the cane. But she didn't want me to push right for the cane. Um, the balance has got to be there. So um, working on that, balancing exercises this week at, at physio. Um, the swelling is still there. It swells up pretty good. I'm working the, the exercises three times a day. And some of them I was pushing this week, the, the bending ones, trying to push them a little bit more. But all it did was cause more swelling. And then I'm sitting here on the ice machine how many times a day. But um, it's coming along and I've gotten, uh, you know, I've gotten stamina back. I can get in and out of the truck a lot easier now, which, you know, was a struggle in the beginning. And I couldn't even rest my foot anywhere for any kind of a, a drive without, you know, propping it up on a pillow or something like that. But so week two, not too bad, getting around. And uh, I got some friends coming over today. Hopefully we'll have some lunch and um, the next time they see me hopefully I'm walking with a cane or even without the cane so I haven't seen them in well since the surgery so it's been a few weeks so anyway week two guys in the books as they say and I'll be back at you next week with an update and hopefully uh, after I see the doctor and get the staples out because the staples are still in hopefully I'll be uh, maybe bending it a little bit have a good weekend.